Noon, 23rd of May, 1950. The heavily crowded steamship Kamamiyut is making its way from Venice to Haifa. The captain announces, Tomorrow morning we expect to enter the territorial waters of the State of Israel at set anchor at the harbor of Haifa. None of the over 2,000 immigrants could harness the emotions this announcement evoke. State of Israel, a new world. At nightfall, people gradually ascended their beds, lulling their little children for their last night's sleep aboard the ship. Others stayed on to assure them witnessing the appearance of the future. The children, I among them, remained awake all night, setting our eyes to the distance, as if possible by the force of their concentration to reach instantly the tomorrow. The night hours moved nerve-wrackingly slow. All eyes were focused on the black space beyond, expecting the darkness to fade away and reveal the silhouette of the Carmel Mountains. This moment is deeply engraved in my memory as if it was yesterday. The joy of a 2,000-year-old dream to become a reality has engulfed us all, more than a heart can contain. 64 years have come to pass since those days. I was fortunate to be among those who built and developed this land. Everywhere I set my feet, everywhere I turn my eyes, I say to my children and grandchildren, this land, all you can see is mine. Even now, a 76-year-old grandfather, I can see with my eyes and hear with my ears my mother in a distant land singing in Hebrew, to her children, songs of longing to the promised land. As out of nowhere surfaces in my eyes imagination, Tomasz of Lubelski, the stately where I was born, my father and mother before me, and generations of ancestors. I was less than two years old when Poland was viciously attacked by the German forces, thus bringing to a tragic end the 450 years of Jewish life in Tomasz of Lubelski. In my mind's imagination, I hover over the street of the town watching people hurrying to their daily chores. Here is Buznitsna Street, where Jewish life and activity centered. The main synagogue, the base medrash, and Stiblech where Jews prayed day and night. Oh, how loud and fierce were these arguments there sometimes over a political issue, sometimes over a pious interpretation of a holy verse, and sometimes it appears as though just for the sake of argument. Not far away is the market, the rinnek where you could buy and sell anything, could hear the latest news or gossips if you wish. Here is Lvovska Street, Lemberg as the Jews called it, the main street of Tomasz of Lubelski, where people love to stroll on a sunny weekend day. In general, daily life was ruled by poverty, but here, among the walls of the Beis Medrash, one gulped in abundance his spiritual food. Here famous rabbis presented their dreshot, social and political figures manifested new ideas, and delegates from Palestine, later Israel, recruited the supporters to the Zionistic movement. Among these walls, he prayed B'Shana Bab Yerushalayim, next year in Jerusalem. These walls were a homeland away from home. Here, among the old wrinkled pages of the Gemurre, he finds a strength to survive another day of hardship, for he knew that at the end of the road lies the promised land. <laughs>